hello everyone welcome back to my little channel i hope you guys are having an amazing day um if you guys are new here please subscribe and leave me a little comment on what you guys thought about the nails also don't forget to check out my online store zule nail shop um the link's going to be in the description for all the products that i'm using let's see Let's see. Okay, la chingada. <laughs> Bugambilia. Alexa, pause music. G. 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 I think I'm gonna do this one nude. Hello, hello, hello. Bueno, donde están? Hello, hello, hello. Why is nothing coming out here on my in my iPad? Hello guys, hold on. Let me restart my fucking iPad cuz I only see the little hearts, but that's it. Oh, hold on. Hi Zach, how are you? Hi you niece. Hi Samantha. Almost done. So I'm going to be doing some press on pop offs tonight because I really love the nails that I did on for Karen. So I want to copy her a little bit. Hi, guys. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today I am using the color Cover Dusty Rose. I'm using the color Covey, uh, <laughs> Cover Dusty Rose. Um, the new color that I had you guys helping me name. I finally picked the name. Um, I picked the color Bugambilia. So I already reached out to the person who gave me the name. So shout out to her. Um, I'll show you guys the color right now in a second. Hello, 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 hello. How are you? Alrighty, so what you guys up to tonight? I'm gonna do some cheetah print. Oh, I fell in love with these nails. So I'm gonna do the middle finger, I believe is, um. so this is a Bugambilia color. Just in case you guys don't know what that is, it's actually a flower. This color is so beautiful. Just a person I needed right now. Hi, girl. How are you? Oh, you're having a rough day? Well, hopefully we can make it better tonight. So um, this is a new color. It's called Bugambilia. And it's funny because one of my cousins had told me that name a long time ago. And I was like, what the fuck is that? And then she's like, es una flor. And so when I saw it in my comments, I was like, I've heard that fucking name before. And when I Googled it, that, that flower, the bugambilia or whatever, it looks just like this color. So I was like, we got ourselves the winner, winner, chicken dinner. Um, That's my mom's name, Bugambilia. That's her name. Oh, she's after a flood. Fucking TikTok no me aviso. I just got on right now. So TikTok's not doing his job right now. Excuse me. 
Pero es ok. Lo bueno que ya llegaste. Ya llegaste. And if you guys are right here chilling, joining my live, please tap the screen. Tap the screen so we could help it reach other beautiful people that need some entertainment tonight. So this color is called Bugambilia. Um, I'm going to be doing the nails inspired by a press-on set that I'm doing. I had to Google that flower. Right? Isn't it so pretty? Um, but I'm going to tweak it a little bit only because, like, I loved it a lot. But um, I, I'm not going to give myself a full bling nail. I'm going to do a Frenchie. I love how you said F the YouTube live. <laughs> no. So... The reason why I didn't do the YouTube live, actually, when was it supposed to be? On Thursday? Was because of the scoops. I, I didn't do them because of the scoops. And also because, how do you call it? Um, I'm not sure if it's true or not, but I was kind of reading into that when you do like streaming on YouTube. Like your regular, your regular, um, videos don't do very well. So I have been noticing that my regular videos, like the ones I've been point, like posting recently, like they're not really being shown to my followers. Um, and I'm like, what the hell? What the hell? Everybody is like watching older videos, but the new ones are not really being seen or pushed to my to my audience so i was like what the hell i mean as long as they're watching shit it don't matter what they watching but um how do you call it i was like hmm i wonder if that's true so i was like okay i'm gonna try not going live on youtube let's see if it goes back to normal and it's going back to normal so i was like hmm interesting interesting thanks for telling us i was wondering yeah so that's what happened hi myra welcome thank you chad for sharing i'm like what the hell would like when you say that <laughs> what the hell what the hell yeah so i was like you know what let me let me see if it's true or not or maybe just the algorithm be changing sometimes or my my youtube really not me liking them press on them press on videos i was making for them i don't know but we gonna find out so let's see which finger should I do the the bling nail? Should I do this one? Yeah, that one should be the bling, huh? The blingy. Okay, so I ended up naming this color Bugambilia. It's a flower name. Just in case you didn't know, it's a flower name. Um, it's so pretty. All right, so I'm gonna do this one. As a French bling. Welcome, ladies. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So this color does dry a little bit fast, so I need to make sure that I get it nice and right. Yes, I ended up choosing the color from one of my comments. I was just talking about that before you came in. How one of my cousins had told me, I guess she had chosen a color that I have at the salon similar to this one many years ago. And or maybe she asked me for a color like that. I don't know. But the point was that she told me she's like, oh, parece bugambilia or whatever. And so one of my comments when I was asking, um, what should I name it? They said that and it kind of like triggered the memory. And I was like, <gasps> I heard that before. So I went to Google it to see what the fuck it meant because she had told me it was like a flower or whatever. And it is a flower and it looks just like this color. So I was like, dude, that's perfect. Perfect. Yeah, I went ahead and added it to the website because I was debating whether I should do Zach's nails, which I am going to do this week. But I then I have to fucking put the charms that I used and make sure I have everything that I use on those nails on the website before I do that. Because I know you guys like to go um, shop and 
replicate the nails so i was like all right i'm not gonna do that to y'all i'm not ready with the charms yet i have to take pictures and stuff hi julia welcome and so um i i was like i'll just do karen's because that's so cute they're so cute you know what maybe i should do the thumb of frenchie with bougainvillea huh that would be cute i'm gonna do this one bling Is this a cut? Yes, Karen is online. Thanks to you. Yes, these are press on. So you guys can see the little tabs on there. I could, I'm going to take them off when I'm done. Um, Do you guys think I should do this a solid color? Or should I do it a French with bougainvillea? Or maybe just a whole nail. I don't know. What do you think? French, 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 French. Okay. Solid. Should we do a ooh French French? Okay, majority. Excuse me, same French. So let's do a French. All right, let's do French. Frenchy, Frenchy, Frenchy. Um, the new color is called Bougainvillea, and then this nude that I'm using is called um cover dusty rose i'm also going to be using a glitter um g10 so i did wait what color did i use on you did i use cover dusty rose i don't fucking remember for some reason i thought i used gel yeah i'm gonna do the this color with the bougainvillea which is the purpley pink magenta vibes no, these are not gel X. These are my 5XL coffin tips. So they are full wells. But um, I'm only doing this like for content. So that way I don't have to rip my nails off. Because these are these nails are going to be beautiful. But I have more nails that I want to do. And I feel like y'all prefer seeing it on my hand. Versus the fake hand. And so I don't damage my nails. I decided to just pop them on with tabs and then that way in the future if i ever for whatever reason don't got nails knock on wood that that ever happens to me again um and i gotta go somewhere i could just reuse these like i'll glue these motherfuckers on and i got something to choose from you know because so i also want to do hello kitty nails but then, okay, check this out. Maybe you guys can help me choose my next set. I got some new pink ojitos, bitch. I made a nail around here, but I don't know where it went. I probably threw it in the trash already. So I want to do I wanna do some Halloween nails, but then I also want to do Hello Kitty nails again. But then I also want to do ojito nails because they're pink, bitch. Who doesn't want ojito nails? Do a Hello Kitty Chucky. What? What? I'm going to have to look at what that means. And then I want to do black. I want to use the color um, Galaxy, which is black and blue. And I'm like, oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know. And then I want to do the fucking Halloween colors. Too many options. Ojitos, okay, maybe I'll do that one next. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll do that one next. All right, so I'm just doing a little Frenchie here. Do Halloween Hello Kitty with pink ojos. Ooh, okay, with pink ojitos. And then I also want to do me a, a blinged out French, a black French with the little skulls. So I'm not sure my French is straight or not, but we're going to find out right now. And this nail tip doesn't fit me. It's a zero, but I have really big fingers. So you guys will see right here, like it doesn't fit. So don't look at that. Don't look at that, please. Por favor, do not look. Hey, Zule. Hi. All right. So now I'm going to do this one into a cheetah print nail. So let me show you guys. Let me show you guys the nails. The nails that I'm replicating. But I'm going to tweak them a little bit because we got to look a little bit different. So these are for La Potato. I fell in love with the cheetah nail with the flower. 
So I'm going to do it the same, but I don't know if I should do two fingers because I loved it. What do you guys think? Should I do two fingers? Um, Lady Coto, the new, this one is called Bugambilia. It's new. So I was thinking maybe I could do one big one on the side. And if I do this one, cheetah print, I could do two little ones. What do you guys think? It's so cute, huh, bitch? Okay, yes, Karen. Yes, it's on it, popping, yes. Oh, look, Karen, and I wrote right there for my potato. The only thing I fucked up, I forgot to dust the nails on the bottom before I stuck them on. So, please excuse my sloppiness in, in that. <laughs> I didn't want to pull them out anymore because I was afraid to fuck them up. Yes, this is going to go on YouTube. So, how to call it? Um, Because when I did those nails, I, I did them in, like, sections, like, every... Um, I, I didn't really have time to sit and like dedicate a whole day to them. I'd be going in, in sections. I did record one hand fully when I was watching Jimena do her nails. And then, um, the other hand, I was, I was doing it in like pieces. So I wasn't able to do a live to record it, even though I've already done what's on there like plenty of times. I was like, you know what? It always looks different in every color. So let me do it again. I didn't get an autograph. You're going to make me a new set now. Okay, Zach. I'm going to send you the box. Just signed. She asked for it first. That's why. All right. So let me just do this real quick. Thank you guys for tapping. Whoever is tapping right here. Let me see who's tapping. Nailed by K Kala. Thank you. So if you guys notice my cuticles look like they're kind of lifted or whatever it's because the nail is stuck on with a little press on so don't judge it's a little press on in the making um this brush is actually a size 20 i had to change my brush because i didn't want to get bullied this time around because it was chipping not me starting something sorry y'all i thought <laughs> Actually, um, I had somebody, oh shit, I had one of my followers, I forgot her name, but she asked me if I can sign her, um, her armrest, you know, the, the LV armrest. So I did just, you just got to ask, can I do for you, honey? So you have full wheel tips? Yes, I do. I have different shapes and sizes. How does acrylic adhere to the natural nail? So these are not um stuck to my natural nail. Well, they are, but not with acrylic. So what I did to stick the nail tips onto my nail right now was I use these little tabs. I'll show them to you right now. I just had to grab them. I put a bunch of them on my nail so that when I file, it doesn't like come off. And um, you can use them like that to wear the nails look at these so i sell these little tabs on my website um and i just put these on my nail so on my thumb i use like three or four because my thumb is that big and i squished it on so when i'm done you guys will i'm gonna take them off and you guys will see that they be stuck stuck hi ariel how are you yeah so the they're like press-ons because i do this for content Ooh, thank you for the lemonade. Um, ¿Cómo te llamas, amiga? Fuck, se me pasó el nombre tuyo. Thank you for the lemonade, amiga. Yeah, so if you guys want to do content and you don't want to damage your nails um, and you're going to take them off right away or whatever, you can definitely do it like this. Or you can do the pop-off method, which lasts longer. So we do have a peel-off base coat. If you want your nails to last up to a week, you can use that. And then you can pop them off and reuse them some other time. But I'm going to do something else tomorrow. So this is just like for funsies, you know. So I could just come chill with you guys. Show you guys how I did the nail set just in case you want to recreate it. And um, yeah. 
So I'm going to be using my 3D brush to make the little cheetah specks. I'm going to do that first. I got my scoops today. Yes. We're getting a live tomorrow too. I'm not sure if tomorrow, if tomorrow or I'm not sure. I'll let you guys know. All right. So how to call it? I'm just going to do little spots. Did you find a name? Yes, I did. It's called Bugambilia. So I'm just going to make little random spots with the glitter. Um, this glitter is called G10. And you guys can find all of these on my website. Um, the the pinkish color is called Bugambilia. We ended up giving it that name. So just random little spots, big and small. And then I'm going to outline them with gel polish. So if you guys don't know how to do cheetah print, this is the easiest way for me. Literally, they just look like little cookies. It looks like a little cookie. Oh, como dice el crabby. Cookie, cookie, cookie. Cookie, cookie, cookie. I'm going to put a little bit there. To lay how much are your brushes. Um, They range. They range um from brush to brush, but... I think the cheapest one is about like 10 cookies around there. The acrylic brushes, I want to say um, start at 30 cookies, but they are amazing quality. They are 100% Kalinsky hair and they will last you a long time as long as you take care of them. So literally just like that, it looks like a little cookie, cookie, cookie. Um, I commented when you were finding the name, I said hibiscus. Oh, that's cute. That would be a nice name. Oh, actually, I already have an acrylic with that name, Hibiscus, so I wouldn't be able to um, copy. Like, once I already have a, an acrylic with a name, I, I don't reuse the name because then we're going to get confused when we do the orders. Hi, Lucky Pants. How are you? Welcome to the live. What does that mean? What do you mean, Lady Coto? A cookie? Oh, bugambilia? Bugambilia. Um, it looks like glitter chicken pox. Oh, I would like to have those. So bugambilia is a flower. Um, I'm not sure how you say it in English. Bu bu bugambilia. I don't know. Google it. Bugambilia. It's it said similar, I think, in English, but spelled differently. Oh, bougainvillea. Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous. That flower is so beautiful. So I was like, you know what? Let's name it like that. So just like this, we're going to do little spots. And I'm just doing them like whatever. I don't even know where the flower is going to go just yet. So I'm going to put a lot of motherfucking spots. And, and they don't need to be perfect. Just whatevs. Just like one long, one small. One long, one small. I think the best part about doing like animal print is that it's just different all the time. Alrighty, so now I'm going to file my Frenchies real quick so I can apply the color on there too. Which is the best acrylic or dipping? Um, the best acrylic, well, everybody has their own opinion. You know, like there's a lot of good, good brands. Um, just acrylic. There's some colors that you cannot use as dip, but they're all acrylic, whether it's for dip powder or regular acrylic nails. Um, you just have to try different ones to see if you can use them as dip. Weird, I didn't get a notification. Bad job, TikTok, not notifying my hoes. What the hell? What the hell? So I'm just going to file my Frenchie a little bit. Try to make it nice and crispy. Um, I mean, hi, Shante. How do you do dip? Um, I've never done dip nails, so I don't know. All I know is that there's like a million steps, in my opinion. So that's why I don't do. Um, but you can definitely Google or YouTube it and you can find it. I, I don't know. I don't know how to do all kinds of nails. I just do acrylics. Acrylics nails. 
I never get notifications. The Z-Holes are the ones that share your lives. If you guys are not getting notifications from me and you have them turned on, turned on, make sure to try unfollowing me and then following me back. Let's see if that helps because I have noticed actually that this profile, this profile um, doesn't really notify people. Like, my other profile has more notifications than this one. Like, when I post something, it's kind of weird. Like, sometimes I'm I'm searching for my own live on, on my iPad, and I cannot find it. And I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck? It takes a little while. All right, so that's as good as it's going to get. So, if you guys have trouble getting notifications... Like TikTok playing with you. Try that. Maybe it works. Muestra tus uñas. Oh, aquí están mis, mis Halloween nails. They all got you muted. Fucking bitches. You guys better not have me muted. Yeah, so if you guys don't have, how to call it, um, all... All or just lives or whatever, it won't tell you, it won't message you. Like my sister was telling me the other day, she's like, Yeah, you got annoying already on my feed. So I I just scroll. I don't even like. I'm like, bitch. My brother told me the same thing. I'm like, y'all fucking bitches. You guys are not supporting. I'm struggling with application with some good advice. So some advice I'm going to give you is learn to work with your acrylic because and what I mean by that is how to call it. Learn your dry speed. That's very important so that you can get some nice, good application. Um, for example, I talk about this all the time. There's going to be acrylics that dry really fast, some that dry slow and so learning the speed dry time is important because you don't want to like pat or drag when it's too early because then you're going to, how do you call it? You're going to, how do you call it, um, drag the whole product down. So for example, this acrylic is a little bit slower setting, but not super slow where, um, like right now, it's already ready for me to place it. But because it's hot, the temperature is kind of hot today. I'm not sure what the weather's like right now. But I think inside my house is at least 70 degrees. Damn, you guys hear Lefe over there? Fucking yelling at, I don't know, at the TV. He's watching He's watching the Jets. Jefe, relax. Relax, Jefe, relax. Interrupting my class 101 here so yes i was saying if your acrylic is too slow drying or whatever um once you place it and you're trying to like drag it you'll bring down all your product and then you'll have to keep adding and adding and adding right and if your product dries too fast for you and you don't know how to work with it yet because sometimes as beginners um we need some time to work right so if your acrylic dries too fast, you're going to have a lot of bumps because you're going to be trying to patch up the nail. Oh, the Jets won. Oh, that's his team. Feels like I'm watching X-Men's live. <laughs> and that's because I have the door closed. Imagine y'all could have heard him all the way to New York. Like literally the Jets heard him. Woo! Oh yeah, there's a few nail techs at my school. I'm scared of the competition. No, Carlita, no, don't be scared, girl. There, like, how to call it? There is gonna be competition, but you, you will have to find your, your niche, your niche, or whatever the fuck, however the hell you say it. Um, so there is a lot of bitches that do nails, right? It's, it's normal to be afraid, but there is enough pie for everybody. Trust me. And what that means is there is more than enough people out there for you. Um, just know that everybody, um, 
is different. Everybody skill like for example um when i started i used to feel the same like oh my god whatever i have no clients or da, 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 da. or this person's better than me and da, 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 da. um and you just need to stand out or like not stand out by being like flashy or like the cheapest or the most expensive or whatever but just try to figure out what you what you can bring to the table that's different. <laughs> yeah, he's almost outside the door. Like, that. that's what you need to think. So any of you guys who are in the same situation where you're, like, afraid of, of um, competition or whatever, just try to be yourself, first of all, and then figure out what's going to make you different. And let me tell you, you don't always want to be the cheapest, the cheapest option because... How to call it? You want to be known for the girl that gives me the quality nails, not the girl that's the cheapest. Because that's the one thing that kind of like hurts some, like your self-esteem a little, you know? Like I I always say this um in a few of my lives that one of my sister's friends a long time ago told me, she's like, I only come to you because like she told me straight up. She's like, I only come to you because you're the cheapest. And I'm like, that's fucked up. Like, I'm over here thinking I do a really good job. And this bitch just burst my motherfucking bubble saying that that's all she comes for because I'm cheap. So that just kind of like broke my little heart. And like back then, um, I think it was like literally eight years ago. And I was like, that's fucked up. Like, I thought she liked my work or she whatever, right? And so that's when I learned that, like, yeah, it's cool for you to be charging what you think you're worth at the time. But some people are always going to pay you what what you're worth and more. So if at the time you don't really value your skill because it's normal, we're afraid to charge you think that you're worth less than what you really are sometimes or whatever, you will notice um, it went like back then when I used to charge almost free, I would get hella tips because they'll be like, Hannah, are you sure? No, that's too little bit. And then they'll tip me like 50 bucks, 30 bucks. And I'm over here like, what the fuck? You know, when people be hella tipping you or bringing you extra shit, is because they see something that you don't see. And that's a sign you need to raise your price. But tampoco no se pasan de verga, like $300 nail, I know, like, bitch. This color is called G10. Um, But yeah, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah, I don't want to be the cheapest option, you know? Zule, is there gold flakes in that glitter? No, it, let me zoom it in. It's big um hexagons. They're holographic. It's so beautiful. Hi, Miranda. Welcome. Yeah, I love this glitter. If you guys have not gotten this glitter, you play in yourself, honey. Because this color goes good with any 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 color with black with white with nude with purple with pink with green 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 with whatever <sighs> hold on let me just shove it in shove it in but yeah anyway back to our conversation about competition do not focus on that uh, the way to grow your business and make your business be successful whether it's big or small or you only have two clients or whatever focus on your own grass is my biggest advice and what i mean by that is focus on your two little clients that you have focus on your five ten clients that you have don't be fucking comparing yourself to your comadre your friend that has 30 clients don't look at that because you're only gonna hurt yourself you're only going to um feel like quitting like you're gonna motivate yourself and sometimes the grass is not as green as they fucking make it seem like some people will show more than more show other shit on social media like people only show what they want you to see not what's really going on 
So don't believe everything you see on social media. That's all I got to say. As long as you have your grass nicely watered, you're... that's all that matters. You give me hope to keep going. Yes, girl, that's what I'm here for because I wish I had somebody like me when I was a beginner to tell me this shit. You don't know how many times I used to check other people's grass because I thought mine was fucking dry or whatever. But little did I know that my grass was okay compared to other people. Like some people just like to show, not just like nail ticks, just in general. You know, people in general will show more than what, like they'll show themselves with their happy man, their happy job or whatever the fuck, they're happy, whatever, they're expensive trips or whatever, not really showing that they didn't pay for none of them trips. They're fucking somebody's sugar baby, which is nothing wrong with that. But people over here thinking like, oh my gosh, she's so lucky. There's no such thing as lucky, guys. One day it will be your turn. One day. And what goes up must come down too. So stay humble all the time because you never know when they're going to unhumble your ass. All right. So let's get this spots going. I'm going to take a little bit of this gel. This is the black painting gel. Like I'm, I'm not that old yet, but I've seen a lot happen in my lifetime to know that. Not everything on social media is true, you know? And I heard a lot, too. So I'm like, <laughs> I ain't here to judge anybody, but, like, just don't don't beat yourself up for what you see. Because, like I said, the the people that post on social media only show what they want you to see. So, like, for example... And it's not just, like, personal or business, but, like, for example, like, I never really post my struggles when when I didn't have clients or things like that because nobody wants to post that. But that's why I always talk about it. My hands hurt from all the clapping. I know, oh yeah? Can, it's not hurting because you smacking my ass? <laughs> hey, just kidding. Um, okay, now I may pay attention to the screen because I had to clean my desk. Okay, girl, you're going to do your nails? So, yeah, just keep that in mind. Can you close the door? I already finished. We want, we okay, want but close the door. Oh, ya se fue, ya lo corrí. But, yeah, so just keep that in mind all the time. Keep that in mind in for everything, not just your job related, just in general. You also you never know what people are going through. Um so be nice to everybody. Hi project, how are you? That's why I always be like smiling at everybody because you never know what somebody's going through. All right, so now it's time to outline these little spots, which is my favorite. Very true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so instead of thinking of other people, your competition, just focus on your own stuff. I know que son chismosas, mis amigas, y les gusta chismear y todo. Thank you for the zapatillas, pero pues, es mejor... To focus on your little business, your little family, your little everything. I wish I could do both hands. Girl, you could. You could if you practice. Trust me, it's hard. But um, as if you practice, the more you practice, the better it gets. I'm going through it, but thanks for asking. I'm sick as fuck. Oh, okay. What do you have, girl? You have COVID? You have COVID? Hopefully you get better soon. Is that gel polish or paint? This is painting gel. So I don't really like to use gel polish, regular gel polish. Excuse me, when I'm drawing little dots or stuff like this, because it kind of like um 
um, bleeds. So you don't want it to like bleed or be too watery. So this is what I use the um, painting gel for. It's a little bit thicker so it doesn't um, bleed and stuff. And I'm also using my little two-in-one dotting tool because I love it for this. Back in the day, they used to have this um, nail polish from Mia Secret that I used to love so much. But nobody fucking uses nail polish anymore, so I don't think they make it. But it was like a squeezy part. And it had like a little, a little uh, piece like this. And I would like draw a little. Um, I would draw the little cheetah prints with it. What about for Frenchies? Do you use gel polish? I use, um, whatever I got, whatever I got, I do. If I can do it with, um, painting gel, I will, but I don't have a lot of colors in painting gel. So I'll do it with, a um, regular paint, regular gel or with acrylic, whatever I have, I do. My hubby is needy right now. He gave me until 9 p.m. because he wants quality time. Oh, okay. Well, don't worry. You have 30 minutes with us. It's okay. It's okay. Cada quien, we need to compromise. I had the bootleg version of those. The bootleg. Okay, guys. We have 30 minutes to tap away before Myra leaves. The older girlies still use gel polish i noticed no 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 i meant to say nail polish nail polish not a lot of people really use nail polish for designs at least for designs let's see if we can tap to how many we have Fifty thousand. come on guys tap the screen tap tap tap, 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 tap. meanwhile i draw these little cheetah prints tap the screen if you guys have any more questions or if you want me to give you advice or some shit, <laughs> comment, let me know, and I do for you. Si quieren que le raye la madre a su vato, también dime el nombre y ahorita se la rayo al güey. Did you always know you would make it? Hell no, bitch. I never thought I would be where I am today. And I think that is the, the part that makes you push yourself because not only did I myself didn't ever really believe in it. I well, actually I never really thought of the future. I I'm not even gonna lie here. I never really was a person to think of the future. I just thought about the moment right now. So I never really um I never really kind of like thought, what am I gonna do in five years? Sergio <laughs> Vive. What is it, Pirulais? Oh, no, Figueroa. Sergio, cabrón, ¿qué estás haciendo? ¿Por qué haces a mi amiga enojar a la verga? Dale pinche chupi chupi mejor. Ella, no, tú le das a ella. No andes encimoso. Déjala que ande chismeando aquí con nosotros. ¿Que no ves que una vez al año no hace daño, amigo? Sí, ¿cuál es el ratio que usas para la crítico? Um, pues depende la uña, amiga, y el acrílico, si se seca rápido o no, whatever. Dile a Sergio que just kidding, eh? No se va a enojar y no vaya a querer venir al papá. Um, okay, so what tips could you give for French? Um, I'll, I'll do a live for you guys demonstrating the French, the French tip, because it's kind of hard to, um explain if i'm not showing it to you like if you guys are doing um gel polish i personally like to kind of like outline the sides first and then draw the little frenchy if you guys are doing it with acrylic i recommend to um work on how pointy you want this part to be first um and work in sections before your acrylic dries and then apply the rest of the beads. So, hold on. I'm going to cure this real quick. Ay, wey, ahora sí me están chingando los comments. No puedo ver tan rápido. Hold on. What nail brush is this? I'm actually using a two-in-one dotting tool. It's not a brush. It's a dotting tool from my website. It has a fat side and a, a skinny side. Okay, if I if I didn't um 
respond to you or whatever and you want me to respond to you, keep commenting because sometimes I don't see the comments. Um, I did go to school, but I didn't learn any of this. So when you guys go to school for nails, you don't learn a lot of decorations. Nina Azulay, reza la mi suegro. Fuck. Pues que te hizo el pinche suegro. ¿Es metiche o qué? ¿Qué te hizo y cómo se llama el pinche suegro? A ver. Um, hi, Zuley. Hi. Is 92 Jill black back in stock? Um, is that the yellow one? Is that the yellow one? If it is, no, I no, it's not. Today I'm using um the color G10. I'm using um ¿cómo se llama? La pinche? Bugambilia. Bugambilia. I'm using cover cover dusty rose. Sí, sí, vendo painting gels. Vendo de todo, amiga. Vendo acrílico, vendo brochas, vendo geles, painting gels o regular. Vendo tu vato nuevo. Si tienes vato y, y vale verga o, o te hace enojar y luego no le quieres dar, you know, el cuchi cuchi. Ahí tengo una como la flor que te va a hacer ver estrellitas y vas a mandar a tu vato a la verga. Sometimes, you know, so tengo nail tips, tengo brochas de todo, todo tengo yo. Um, so late tell my man he better make my anniversary worth it for missing the pop up in October. Oh, no, don't remind me. A ver, Efraín, hijo de tu maíz. Paloma, como sea mi mamá. <laughs> me on that as fuck. Más te vale que le tengas un pinche sorpresón a la Karen porque para que no llegue al, al, al papa, como que no, hombre. Dame su pinche número para textearle right now. Right now. So for those of you guys who didn't know, um, uh, we're going to be coming to Riverside. Well, I live in Riverside County, but I'm coming to the pop up. If you guys have been wanting to shop in person, you want to meet Zule, you want to meet El Jefe, um, or you just want to come buy something at a discounted price or whatever, like tampoco no va a ser free, pero pues at a little discounted price, um, I invite you guys to come to the pop-up. I'm going to be adding it to a video soon, soon here on TikTok, pero um, it's already on my Instagram. It's going to be... October 1st at 4 p.m. Lovely Mimi will be there too. So um, she's going to be there selling her knives. And um, there's another business there called Romance, Romance Boutique, I think. They sell like lingerie, um, toys. And if you guys buy from all three of us, you guys can get entered to win a BBL. If you don't want to support everybody because you're not into what one of us is selling, that's totally fine. Just still come. The first 50 people are going to get a goodie bag. So make sure you're there early, but don't be too fucking early, bitch. O si no te voy a poner a que me ayudes a, a poner la mesa, la verga. I'm just kidding. And then, um, yeah, it's only going to be for a few hours. So I invite you guys to come. Chill, we're gonna have yes, bitch, toys. So if you fucking shy and you shy to go to Target to buy a toy, you can go fucking there. Everybody's gonna be going into that store. Puras cochinonas, vamos a estar allí. So no judging, no judging. Aha, uh -huh, it's gonna work. Um, they're giving away two BBLs. Who the fuck doesn't want a BBL, bitch? Y más free a la verga. Can you do friend cheese with that? Yes, you can. Yes, you only need one coat too. Zule girl, the RV, uh, eh, LV arms is still available. Um, they should be arriving soon. If you want to pre-order it, um, send me a, a text message. I still have them for pre-order, but um, if you, yeah, just message me if you want to pre-order it. Actually, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. So if you guys get una pinche BBL, no más quieren venir a chismear o a gastar money or whatever, no más a la pinche alboroto, come through on October 1st. Um, I'm going to have uh, my Zule Nails hoodie. So for those of you guys who have been wanting to buy one, you want to be an official Zule Nails ho. Um, I'm going to be selling them there first before I put them on the website. And then um, I'm going to have some new colors that are not on the website yet. Thank you, Lady Koto. I'm, I'm going to bring them to the, to the papa. Oh, because if I had my sister, no say I haven't invited her. Normally, she comes to my pop-ups, but I don't know if she down or not because it's on a Sunday. I mean, I can ask her. Para que las entretenga la verga, como siempre, ¿verdad? Oh, yes, um, Chad. Thank you for reminding me. I'm, I'm actually going to have some Zeho cups, some tumblers that I'm going to make myself, actually. I still haven't done them yet, but I'll show them to you guys as soon as I do one. Where can I buy the pincel that you're using? You can buy it, buy it on my website. It's called 2 and one dotting tool. So let me show it to you. Son two puntitas. This one you can write with it or you can make dots. And then this side is fatter. These are so pretty. Thank you. And we're not even done yet. Wait till you see them finish, honey. So this is a color that I'm using, Bugambilia. No encuentro tu gel paints. Um, Go to... um gel polish <clears throat> linda go to gel polish to gel polish category ahí están son amigos que se me seca aquí en la chingada de mí let me show you honey gel polish hold on hold on hold on Look, let me show you. So these right here are painting gels. Bella, or quién es? Bella. Those are painting gels. These are painting gels. Y luego el que estoy usando ahorita es um, this one, this painting gels. You click here and then there's metallic ones. Y luego también está el black and white right there. Yes, you guys can use these for a French tip. I'm going to be showing you guys videos in the near future, me using them, because we're going to be doing a lot of... My man can go with the hot dogs. Is that... Are you joking or not joking, bitch? Because I don't think there's any food vendors. I know Mimi... Um, Mimi got an ice cream truck to come. Fuck, I need clear acrylic. Can you bring me clear acrylic, please? And a monomer to you. Por favor. Por favore. Hold on, let me get my brush. Zule, si o no? Si o no que? Hi, Zule. TikTok is a bitch. I did not notify me that you was going on. Oh, hell no. You are like the 20th person to tell me that. Pinche TikTok, maldito hijo su puta madre. All right, hold on, guys. Let me just um clean my monomer real quick because it has glitter everywhere. And I don't want the magenta-looking ones to um to get glittery. All right. Text you. Okay, text me. Hold on. I'm waiting for my monomer because I used the last couple drops. No, the other side. I steal whenever I want, okay? I'm the content creator. Thank you. I have to. I'm the content creator. Like All the right. Content creator. Hmm? Like what? Like Lenny has OnlyFans? Yeah. <sighs> okay, let me breathe. Can you also bring me a water? Please? The pop-up is going to be in Riverside by um, 
by Tyler Ma. Let me pour it in here. So if you guys are not familiar with the area, just Google Tyler Ma Riverside. Y ahí les va a salir. Literally is across the street, but I'm using my smooth and monomer. Thank you. Thank you. She's a content creator, huh? It's going to be on October 1st. It's going to be on October 1st at 4 p.m. I'll give you guys more information on my... Oh, fuck. I just got glitter all over it. No. On my Instagram. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, fucking check. Hold on. Let me get a cotton ball. Um, follow me on Instagram. I believe I posted it today on my story, actually. So we're going to try this hack where you put a cotton ball on your monomer. And it's supposed to get all your fucking glitter. All right. Just fucking bitch. Yeah, so it's going to be October 1st at 4 p.m. Don't worry. I'm going to keep talking about it until the day of... Because I need y'all to show the fuck up. I don't want to be the only dumbass right there chilling with no friends. <laughs> I need my hoes to come because I don't want to look stupid. I don't want to be stupid just right there with nobody. I'm having an issue with the underside of my fake tips. Oh, they're having a foggy residue. Um, what are what are you doing to them? What are your like? You do you add monomer? What are you doing? Uh, you wish you could go, girl, come through. Why can't you come manicure? You live in another state. You won't have time for anyone with so people going. What? You won't have time for anybody. Don't worry, girl. I have time for everybody. I normally am the one, so you end up getting all the little products that you want to buy and stuff, and then I normally charge everyone, and then we could take a picture. I'm usually the cajera, too. So, for those of you guys who came to my pop-up last year, um, y'all know that we got to chit-chat for at least while I was doing the fucking math, bitch, and then we took pictures. So don't worry, honey. I, I will get to talk to you. Give you a little hug if you want. But you cannot fucking be shy, bitch. You are not allowed to be shy. What is your IG? My IG is the same as here on TikTok. All my social medias are Zulay's Nails. So if you guys are looking for me on TikTok, YouTube, whatever, is can we buy products of yours with card? Um... No, I don't accept debit cards, but if you have Apple Pay or Zelle, you can pay that way. I don't have a debit machine. Um, So what is a pop-up going to have? We're going to have, well, for example, just myself. I don't have the exact items that I'm bringing, but Mimi, she sells, her, she's going to be selling her knives. She's going to be selling her knives. Um, and the other young lady, she has like um, lingerie, sexy stuff, like all kinds of sexy shit. She also has toys and like all these putona shoes. I went in there and I was like, God oh, damn, bitch. Like if y'all into kinky shit like that, you're going to like it. Yeah, you guys can bring cash. You know, cash is always accepted. Um, and let's see what else. I think we're the only ones that are going to be there selling stuff. I know that Mimi said she got an ice cream truck to come. So if you guys are part of the first 50 people, you guys are going to get like a little coupon for the ice cream truck. Um, or you guys can like buy from them. I don't really know what they sell, but she said it was like they sell like all kinds of shit. Maybe like nachos. Yo que sé. I have no idea. Um, but yeah. Other than that, we're the only ones that are having like a little selling. Y pues, more than anything, you get to meet us, hang out a little bit, and meet somebody in the fucking line, bitch. You can meet another Z-ho. How long will this, what, the pop-up? 
the I'm not sure how long we're gonna be there for, but the sun go goes down around eight. So I'm sure we ain't gonna be there until past eight. So at 4 p.m. is when it starts. So if you guys are a Z Ho and you guys come through, you might meet another Z Ho in the line. That's the fun part. <sighs> um do you have any tips on how to help with your non-dominant hand? Just to practice, girl. That's the only tip I can give you. Like, other than the same application and stuff that you do to one hand, you do to the other. But the only way you get better is to do it often. No encuentro el G10. El G10 está con los holographic acrylics, amiga. They're chunky holographic glitters. Así se llama. How many nail techs are going to be there? None. Just me. I'm the only nail tech. This is just a little pop-up that Mimi came up with and she invited me. Um, there's going to be no other nail tech, just me and her. If you count her as a nail tech. But it's just like a little, a little, a little thing. Now that I know you go live i'm gonna start hopping in more yes peaches girl peaches 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 oh my god girl so i did my acrylics myself that that what like what what, 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 what? that shit is hard oh yes it is hard in the beginning but the more you do it the more it gets easier it's always gonna be hard okay but it gets easier. Trust me. Before I go to lay, ya te mande text. Okay, honey. Okay. Where are you going? Oh, okay. You're going to go with your man. I'm using a size 20 brush. I'm using my unicorn size 20 brush. I love this brush because it's big enough for my big, big nail. Hi, Sara. Como estas? What stops me is not knowing what products are worth it. Well, if you shop Zule products, you won't have to worry about that because all my products are bomb.com and they are definitely worth it. So you can start here, honey. Um, I always show my... Um, I only use my products here when I do the lives so that you guys can see that they actually work. So... You can definitely start by choosing Zule. Yes, we do um, sell starter kits. We sell um, regular basic kits, like literally with what you can do a full set. It comes with a brush, nail tips, nail glue, like three acrylics. And you have an option to get monomer if you wanted to. Um, or if you already have monomer, you can use what you got. And then um comes with files and I believe a top coat. I'm definitely going to shop with Zule. Yes, you guys will not be disappointed unless you have like hella high standards. I just kidding. But I promise you that you will love Zule products. They're very easy to use and affordable. Hi, do you sell refill tips for XL square tips? We don't have for XL square tips, but we do have 2XL. So you can just buy the 2XL ones and cut them, you know, to the XL length or whatever length you're going to use on your client. We do have for 2XL. 2XL um, square, 2XL coffin, and XL stiletto coffin. Do you do, oh shit, PR packages for what? To nail techs that show your products? No, I do not um do PR packages. I have sent some in the past, but I don't really because I feel like it doesn't really work for me. What is in your monomer? A few chemicals. I can show them to you right now if you want. It has ethyl methacrylate hydroperoxyl. I don't know how to pronounce them. 
I don't know how to pronounce them. But it does not have MMA, if that is what you're trying to ask. Yes, it is a cotton. So I was using glitter earlier. And it was getting everywhere. So I put a little cotton ball in there to kind of like um, hold the cotton. I think she meant the cotton ball. Oh, <laughs> oh, in the dish. I thought she meant the ingredients. I was like, girl, I don't know how to pronounce half of them. <laughs> that is so funny. Ay, perdónenme. Estoy bien pendeja. Okay, okay, okay. Are you guys still tapping? We're not at 50K yet. What? Who is taking a break? How do I keep my brush soft? So after each use, hold on, let me buff this one a little bit. After each use, you need to clean the brush and make sure there is no acrylic on there. Fuck. Hold on. I'm just buffing the little glitters that are stuck in here. Um, You want to make sure to clean your brush. And you don't need any brush cleaner or anything like that. I mean, you can buy it if you want. But personally, I have never used no brush cleaner. And my brushes are fine. Um, all I do is just dip it in the monomer like this and then just clean it on the napkin. And you just have to make sure there's no acrylic in your bristles and then you can put it away. So when you come back and use it, it's going to feel a little hard. But once you dip it into your monomer, it will soften up. All right, that's what he said. It's going to feel a little hard when you touch it. I love, love, love it. Pinche glitter malita y se quedó el perro. Fuck it. We'll hide it with something. Okay, 50K. Woo! Come on, guys. Let's see if we could get to 100K. Tappy, tappy, tappy. Tappy, tappy, tappy. Where is the pop-up again, Selena? Um, check my Instagram story. I just posted it today on Instagram. What do you have in your monomer jar? It's a cotton ball. It's a cotton ball because I was using glitter earlier and it was stuck in my brush. So the cotton ball kind of like traps the glitter. Like, where are you going, you fucking bitch? You are not wanted on the nail. Stay over here, honey. It like hugs it. And it just gets trapped in there. That's why we haven't really gotten it in our acrylic no more. Cotton ball in the monomer to catch the glitter. Tyler Mall in Riverside. Yes, yes. Levanta la mano. Si vas a venir. Aha, uh -huh, yes. We're going to be doing some 3D flowers right now as soon as I start filing after. Is there any Z hoes up in here? Where are my Z hoes? If you are a Z ho, comment. Where are my Z hoes? Calling all Z hoes. Calling all Z hoes. Who's in here? Let me see you. Where are you? Buenas noches. Um, buenas noches. ¿Cómo te llamas? Um, my reina. Okay, okay. Aquí sí están las pinches cabronas. Nomás están ocupadas, ¿verdad? Ooh, yes. Okay, amigas. Todo... Why is clear acrylic so watery? Some of them are not watery. Um, Like mine is not watery. It dries a little fast. So that's why I apply a little bit at a time because I don't want to get bubbles. But if you do get it watery, um, it's better because it doesn't get bubbles. Like on this nail, I think I got like a bubble in there somewhere. We'll find out. <clears throat> can you use the sculpting gel to make 3D flowers? Yes, you can, Rene. So whoever was asking me how, well, you didn't ask how to clean the brush, but uh, let me tell you, this is how I do it. I just literally dip it in the monomer and then I wipe it. And make sure there's no acrylic. And if you go like this to your brush and it's nice and clean, there's no little clump, you will know if there's fucking acrylic in there. Trust me. It's going to be a little blob. 
So then it's ready to get put away. It's it really does dry. I tend to add more monomer in my bead. Yes, it does dry fast, especially right now that it's um summertime and it's hotter. But in the winter, it's perfect because in the winter time, if you use a regular drying acrylic, it takes forever, forever to dry. And then sometimes the acrylics turn white, like frosty crystallized because they're drying too slow. All right, guys, time to file. So let me show you guys what the nails look like sideways. They need a little filing. So I'm going to be using my little file. Where the fuck is the other one at? Honey. How do you put your brushes away? I literally just have them sticking up in a cup. Look it. Let me show you my cup. I just have them like this. So queen of everything. So I could remind the jefe that I'm the queen of this house. All right. So literally I just have my little brushes here. I also sell this mug, so if you a queen bitch, you could definitely get one of these. It comes with a little crown. I love it so much because I could put my little brushes like this when I'm drawing, you know, because I'm a fucking messy ass bitch. So if I put them on the table or whatever, I fuck everything up. So it's so cute. Or you could drink coffee out of it. Whatever you like, honey. It's whatever you like. All right, let's start filing. I'll start this one. I'm going to try to be very, 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 very careful. Actually, yeah, I should file with the... with the. I'm going to file with the, 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 the electric file because I don't want them to, like, fall off. So let me put this little bit. Love it. Yes, honey. Just bought your 4X stilettos tips the other day. Yes, girl. How do you like them? Um, you got the regular stilettos or the um, stiletto coffin? All right. So I'm just going to file them a little bit. We're not going to do too much filing, you know, because these are pop-offs, press-ons, whatever. I'm just going to file the little Humpty Dumpty. When is the next subscriber live? Um... I'm not sure, but definitely this month, sometime this month, I'll let you guys know when I have a date because I have to finish um, Jen's nails. So on my next subscriber live, I'm going to be raffling another set of press-ons. But you guys have to be subscribed in order to participate in the live. Um, so I have two, two sets of press-ons that I need to, um, do before I can go live. Because I don't want y'all waiting, like, forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Yes, you can use, um, sculpting gel for 3D, um, figures. You could do, um, 3D flower, 3D whatever you like. We've made a taco before with it. Dory, did you find that? The no, I forgot. I need to write that on my notes. So I can have the price for you guys. Are you going to come to the pop-up, Sharon? Porque si vienes, te invito a mi sister, eh? Because yo sé que se, se cayeron bien. Oh, yes. But it was okay to make me wait forever. Never noted. <laughs> hey, 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 Zach, relax, relax. But yours were fucking bomb and long and shit, honey. Honey. It just felt forever for you because I was waiting for that little fucking skull. I'm planning to, but I haven't confirmed it. Ah, pues, dile al marido, dile a tu hubby que be like, hey, remember la que nos salvó el marriage? La que nos salvó, el chupi chupi, la chupi chupi queen. We're going to go see her again, okay? The pop-up is going to be in Riverside. So if you want to see the address, go to my Instagram. I can't apply too much pressure on these porque se me van a caer a la verga. They are press-ons. I got study for my written. Now I hope you night goes amazing. Thank you, peaches. Good luck on your test. 
The gold glitter is G10. This one. If if for whatever reason you guys can't find a color, you there's also a a search engine on the website. You go all the way to the bottom and then you could type it in. What's the name of the pink purple one? That one is called Bugambilia. That one should be easier to find. It's way at the top of the website. This one doesn't really need any filing, but we're going to file it too, so it doesn't feel bad. Ooh, love the color. Did you send all the scoops? Yes, ma'am. All the scoops have been shipped since last week. So you guys should be getting them. You should have already gotten them today, if not tomorrow. But everybody, everybody should be having their scoops in their mailbox already by tomorrow. So it doesn't feel bad. What do you? Oh yeah, yeah. Para que no se sienta la pinche uña. No se sienta. Um, I ordered a bling adhesive. Can I only use that on chunky charms? Chunky charms, girl. You can use it on whatever you want on your refrigerator, your glasses, your flat back charms. I mean, your crystals, your charms, whatever. Just make sure to add enough, enough glue for the piece. So if you guys are adding a really big crystal or a super big charm that's heavy, make sure to apply enough glue to support it. Porque es como si te subes a un columpio y estás bien pesada y nomás es un pinche string se va a caer a la verga, te vas a caer. You know? So you gotta secure that bitch. I'm gonna secure that bitch. Talking about columpios, I, I think, I'm not sure if I dream, dreamt it or what, but I could have sworn I saw some some sex swings at that shop. So if y'all been wanting one of those, I think they have them. I may have been seeing things, but I think they did. You guys could put that shit donde quieran y ahí se columpian a la verga. Ooh, shit, got delivered today. Ooh. Why does my bling adhesive turn white on the nail? What am I doing wrong? Um, nailed by Rosie. Do you have the glue activator? If you don't, I recommend to get one. The reason why it turns white is because it got wet. Whether it's from get one and demonstrate it for us. No, hombre, me van a bloquear a la verga. Yo voy al parque y me, culium, me columpio en ese. I do have yours. Okay, make sure to spray it on the nail so that the glue can fully dry. Because sometimes it will feel like, oh, it already dried fast as fuck, boy, or whatever. But it's not 100% dry. So you have to make sure to, to um, dry it real good before you wet it. No, it doesn't hurt around the cuticles because it's really soft. So how to call it? Um, that's why the glue turns white. Any glue will turn white when it becomes wet and it's not fully dry. So make sure to um don't wet it until it's dry or spray activator to freeze it in place. All right, so I'm gonna be using this on point disc. You guys can find it on my website. Well, the one on the website is not this large. I just don't know where I left the original one. I dropped it on the floor. I think. It will be your best friend, honey. This one is a little dangerous because it's so big. I cut myself. But the other one is not as. Hi, Ben. How are you? Um, What kind of brush did you use? I used my Zule brush. Where did you get that? Um, I sell it. Everything that I'm using, you guys can buy on my website. The link's on the bio. So, um, it's called the On Point Disc. It should be under um, bits and files. But it's not, the disc that I sell on my website is not this big. Let me see if I have it right here my desk, actually. I be dropping all my shit all the time, so I don't like to pick it up because I'm fat, you know? 
a bitch is fat and she don't like to bend down. Nah, just kidding. I think I have it on another drill. Kidding, not kidding. So, especially if you guys do your own nails, you know how it's a struggle to file your fucking nails? Well, with this bit, you guys can file the tip, you can file the size, you can file whatever you like. Como de va la pinche canción. Uh, you can have whatever you like. Oh, I used to love T.I. when I was in fucking high school. He was my baby daddy. All right, look, you guys can file the sides. Make it crisp, crisp. Why are you guys fucking laughing? Is this he not sing that song? Bitch, bitch, bitch. Look at you. Phew, phew, phew. Rubber band man. Oh. <laughs> I don't fucking know, bitch. Pero el T.I. was my husband. My baby daddy. Y'all making me doubt myself, man. He does say it back. Say what back? Zule slays always. I try my best, honey. I try my best. Once upon a time, he was my man too. Huh? What grid is that big file? Um, I want to say it's 150, but I could be wrong. This one is not, um, I don't sell this ginormous one. The one that I sell on my, on my website is 150. Mine is smaller, but like I said, I can't, I don't know where I left it. So I gotta use this one. I don't recommend a super big one like this. It's a little dangerous, but it's okay if I cut myself. It's not like y'all gonna feel it. And... Se escucha como que we're cutting grass, huh? Como que estamos limando pinches acate. Yes, right now we're gonna add some bling and some 3D flowers. So stay tuned. We're almost there. Do you guys want to see the bling first or the flowers? That looks so helpful. It definitely is. You're going to be your best friend. Ooh, Jen, thank you for the ice cream. Mmm, ice cream. <laughs> the bling, the flowers, the bling, the flowers. The flower. Well, actually, I have to put bling in the middle of the flower, so maybe that first. I, I don't know why, but this one is not straight, bitch. Do you do classes? I I do, but I don't have them often. But you can have free classes on my YouTube. All my videos that I make here on TikTok are very educational. You will definitely learn something in every live. They are free. All you got to do is follow me on YouTube Give me a like and a comment and don't skip the ads. That's it. That bit scares me. I can't get used to it. Marley, why not? You just have to have it a little fast. You can't have it too slow. I've been a Zulu stalker for years on YouTube. Okay, honey. Well, make sure to comment so I can recognize your little faces. Um, what, If you guys come to my lives and you do not interact, ma'am, or sir, why not? I want to see your little faces and your little names so that I can remember you. Because it's been said that um, somebody has to see, like people need to, um, people need to see whether it's your business or your name, your picture, whatever, at, at least seven times to start to remember it. So... If y'all want me to recognize you on another platform, you have to use the same picture or the same name, and I will remember you. How do we order gel polish? It, you can order whatever you want on my website, whether it's gel polish, nail tip, bio, whatever. The link's on the bio. So you could just follow the little link there. Five, six, seven, eight. Nee, 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 nee. 
five, six, seven, eight. Who do we appreciate? Um, what do you recommend practicing on? I recommend practicing. We can gift subs now. What? What do you mean? Gift subs. What does that mean? What, do you, what does that mean, Jen? Um, I recommend to practice on yourself if you can. That's the best way to to practice on how hard you should be filing and stuff like that. But if you cannot practice on yourself, we can give someone a Zho badge. Oh, that is so cool. I didn't know that. Um, so you guys can practice on yourself or if you, or a fake hand. That is so cool. Hey, Zule, when with the LV armors be shipped and be back in stock? So I'm, I think they're just finishing them up. Um, you guys should be getting them in about two weeks or hopefully sooner. We haven't gotten them just yet, but I know they were almost done making them. A ver, someone gift me a sub to see. <laughs> no seas con la wicked. Andale, compra una pinche badge. No sean codas perras, andale, son by 99. Get a badge. Get a badge and be a Z-Ho right now. Right now. <laughs> that was fucking funny, honey. All right. So I'm just buffing these little bitches real quick, real quick, real quick. Are those nails, these tips? Yes, these are the 5XL um, press on. 5X up. If we give subs, we better get an extra entry for the giveaway. Huh? Too bad. I would never know if you gift a sub. Zach is like, that's the only way y'all getting my money. Oh, yeah. So since you're bringing it up, actually, for those of you guys who are not subscribed and you've been thinking about it, we actually have, I'm going to be doing, um, well, I... I just started this where I do a giveaway for press-ons um, on our sub-only lives. So if you guys want to win a set of press-ons free made by Zule, I do raffle them when we go sub-only. This one's a little crooked, so let me fix it. But in October, I'm going to be... Wait. Yeah. I think it was October, November. I'm going to be doing a Nespresso giveaway. And... A Zule lamp giveaway. So if you guys want to participate in that, you need to be a subscriber. Every time, every month, your subscriber, you get an entry. I never understood what the subscriber is actually for and what do you have to do. So pretty much it's just so you could be part of the clan, you know, just you get a little badge, a little eggplant badge on your name, and then you get little emotes. So Unless you're a subscriber, you can use those. Somebody put a little emote so they can see what it is. It's like a little special thingy. All right, let me get my bling bling real quick. Okay, yeah, so we have different ones of stupid shit that I say all the time. Like my Felicia or whatever. And then when I go live for my subscribers only, um, only they can see the live, not you guys. All right, so I'm gonna be using the Zule Bling adhesive. The the crustier, the better. So let's see. This one, I think I'm gonna do the two flowers. Is bling time? Yes, I'm gonna do the bling for the flowers first. So I'm gonna be using my golden shadow bling bling bling. Um, so yeah, pretty much that's what subscribers are for. It's just like a little gang we have going on. <laughs> gang, 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 gang. We're uh, a little Zho tribe up in here. We are very friendly, so you're welcome to to join us. Gang, 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 gang. Does the glue dry fast? Hell yeah. 
it does dry fast if you put it over um if you put it over freaking acrylic it dries fast as fuck boy so what when you fly me out to be your hand model we can do a sub only live <laughs> That would be funny, honey. Zach would be like the worst um model ever. He'd be moving too much because he said he fucking talks with his whole body or his hands. <laughs> I'd be like, sir, you need to stop fucking moving. I'm gonna need to put tape on that mouth. <laughs> yeah, so it does dry fast. So I like to put it in small sections at a time. Like not, you're not going to put it on the whole nail and expect to bedazzle it unless you're like super, super fast, fast, fast. Mimi, she is in New York. I think she's in New York. I don't know. She's still there. Oh man, that one's not even the right color. Uh, now you exposing me. <laughs> That's what you said earlier that you talk with your hands. I mean, that's not a bad thing. Once the nails are done, you can click, 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 click. Um, but okay, yeah, that's enough right there. If you guys need more time, like if you're the type of person that is a little slower with bedazzling, like you like to take your sweet ass time looking at um what diamond you're gonna do next and stuff like that. Um, you can, how do you call it, um, put it over gel. Sorry, I was trying to find out which freaking diamond to grab. Estás en el baño, Mayra? Phew, phew. Yeah, so if you guys need it to dry a little bit slower because it goes too, too fast, then put your bling over gel. Um, okay, bye. ¿Te andas lavando la cola, Mayra? Mayra, 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 Mayra. All right, damn. You guys shared the live 40 times? Damn. Y'all were very, very happy today. Do you have an idea of how you're gonna bling how are you going to bling it or is it spontaneous? Um, I have an idea. Um, I mentioned it earlier, just in case you just join. I'm going to be doing a bling French. And then the other, I'm going to add some to this one and this one. And that one, I still don't know. But I'm going to do this one fully bling. No me hablen, pobres. All right. So here is where your glue activator comes in handy. So if you guys don't have a glue activator, porque, porque you didn't know you needed one or you didn't know, but you didn't want to buy one because you just didn't want to. Because you're like, no, I can live without it. No, this is me telling you, you need one, bitch. Okay, go get one. Zule glue activator. You spray it to freeze it in place. And this is where it gets really important, right? Because we're going to do 3D. And... If you get glue on your brush, your 3D brush, you're going to fuck it up. So I'm going to put acetone in there like a nice little shot. And so how to call it, um, when you're doing 3D flowers, you get really, 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 really close to the, the bling. And so like I was saying, if you come in here and you're pressing and you touch the glue with your bristles, you're going to harden it and you're going to mess up your brush. So that's why you need to make sure it's fully dry by the time you start doing that do you do your um dominant hand too yes i do both of my nails i actually just did this one the other day on friday i think i just got this all over them so i'm gonna be using the same color bougainvillea and i'm just mixing the monomer with the acetone depending on how much monomer you have in your dampen dish is how much acetone you're gonna do i have a nice amount so i gave it a nice good shot and then I'm using my 3D brush number six. It's a nice big one since I'm going to do big flowers. But if you guys have a size four, you can definitely do that too. 
All right, let me zoom you guys in for this beautiful flower. What do you use for your non flat backs? I use my cluster gel. So on my website, I also have a cluster gel, which is right here. This one is a glue gel. Um, it needs to be cured in the lamp. That one I use for like really big charms sometimes or for, for my giant blings. <sighs> Have you tried rubber base? Yes, yes, I do that sometimes it works really good so if you guys ever have trouble with lifting i recommend to try the rubber base gel i mean the clear rubber base instead of like the clear coat that i normally put sometimes i put the rubber base it just depends on my mood so there's one petal ya me dio el dedo que me te voy a dar break okay so somebody else, come on guys, we need to reach to 100,000. What exactly is rubber base? So a rubber base gel is a base coat um, that has, oh shit. It's a special base coat that um, has a very, very, um, como se dice? Um, it adheres really, really, really well to your nail, has very good adhesion. And so normally they use it for like gel manicures and stuff like that, but you can use it um for acrylics as well. You put it after your primer. But you have to do the acrylic directly on there while it's still tacky. I'll try to um do it on another video so you guys can see from the beginning. I think I've done it before. So I'm trying to do big ass petals because I like it big, big. Hi, Letty. How are you? I got my acrylic scoops, but I didn't get my bling. Is it coming separately? Lady Koto, if you place your order separately, then yes. Hola, Fernando. Como esta? So this color is so fucking gorgeous. And I did go ahead and add acetone so that it dries faster. Just in case you guys are wondering why I added acetone to my thing. It just dries up the acrylic a little bit faster. Like not too, too fast where it doesn't dry too fast where you can't work it. As you guys can see, like I'm still able to mold it and stuff, but it, it dries a little bit faster so i'm not here waiting for it for days in the avion cansada la verga in the avion ni en el tiktok como tienen wi-fi o que chingados is it hard to make petals um no i don't think so i mean it just takes practice over time you get better just like anything you know the more you do it the easier it gets All right, let me zoom out a little bit just in case. There's Wi-Fi. What the fuck? I don't travel, so I don't fucking know. I'm new to the nail tech world. Oh, my God. I love watching nail lives. Hello, Selena. Selena. Welcome. Make sure to follow. I go live very, very, very often. All right, King Leah. <clears throat> I'm using my Kalinsky, my 3D number six brush. Yeah, if you guys have a question and I missed it and you really want me to answer it, comment it again and I'll try to look up. Or, or moderators, can you guys pin it? Mm, how long did it take you to learn how to make them? The flowers, not long at all. I feel like as a beginner, the decoration part was what was the easiest for me. Like for me, I love the bling. I love the flowers. I love anything that is extravagant and eye-catching. So I wanted to be known for that. Like I wanted the chacalosas, the buchona bitches to come get their nails done with me. Um, how much is the glue? It's $10. 10 cookies, honey. 
vintage pink was your favorite Ooh, yeah so you guys can find the glue on my website it's only ten dollars when can we get a restock on the purple and dampened dish um actually i don't remember if i ordered purple ones i need to check but it i know i ordered a different color i need to check if i order purples but I did um get an iridescent gala, the same style. So gotta check, gotta check, gotta check. That's my goal too. Yeah, 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 yeah. You just have to um be patient. They will come eventually. You know, Woo, we uh we're not at a hundred k. Hold on, we're at. Is mine stuck? It says right here, only 85.4 likes. What the hell? My shit is stuck. What the hell? Um, do you take new clients? Yes, I do. But I'm only accepting new clients for long freestyles. My fucking iPad is, is way behind. What the hell? Yeah, my iPad says 80... 7.4 crazy but the comments are moving weirdness All right, i'm gonna do this one down here yeah so i do accept new clients but only for long nail long nail freestyles and the minimum is 230 dollar honey so if you like simple nails, I'm sorry. I'm not a nail tech for you. I do already regular nails for my regulars, but for my new clients, long nail. How do we know if the press on will fit or not? Well, you have to measure your nail. Okay, let me do that too. Let me close this one. This Hold the fuck up. Okay, let me close it and come back. Oh, there you go. It's back. It's back. All right, we're going to make another one. They lying. How to avoid... How to avoid... Um, oh, fuck. Contact dermatitis. You have to try to avoid touching the chemicals. So the more that you come in contact... Excuse me. The more that you come in contact with the chemicals, the more likely you are at risk. Um, so try to wear gloves during your service and um, try not to touch it with your fingers, you know, like with no glove. So just pretend that contact dermatitis is kind of like a fucking a STD bitch. The only way is to glove it up. Wear a glove. <laughs> don't be silly. Wrap your willy. So we're going to be like, don't be silly. Put a glove on. Or what can we say? You know? Because one day, one day, hopefully it doesn't come and happen. Wrap it up. Uh-huh. One day, you're going to get it. You're going to get it, get it, get it, get it. I just get it. <laughs> um, Hopefully, we never get that shape. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Hold on. Sorry. I'm getting too excited here. <laughs> it's the coffee. Um, Yeah, so the goal is to not get contact dermatitis you know because once you get it i don't think it's reversible you know and i heard that it's not very good you know like it's very itchy and i'm not sure if it's painful or what but te emocionaste de más uh -huh. you have so much energy it's because i i'm drinking my coffee still i went to el starbucks I went to El Starbucks. Esta flor va a estar gigante. Así como la, como la flor. You guys haven't got a como la flor, bitch. You need it in your life. Te va a ver. Te vas a hacer ver las estrellas. I wonder the como la flor works on men too. I never tried it. 
So if you guys haven't tried my my new um Starbucks, look at let me show you guys. <sighs> this is so good. So it's four espresso shots, the blonde espresso in a venti cup with two shots of toffee nut syrup, two shots of white chocolate mocha, a splash of heavy cream, a splash of whole milk, and then I added the pumpkin cream cold foam. You don't have to add that if you're not a pumpkin girl, but if you are a pumpkin type of person, definitely add that. Mm. Best pumpkin drink you'll have, and you never want to eat drink something else. You got a lot of new people right now. Tell them about the pop up and the BBL. I know how huh? today TikTok is actually doing their fucking job and pushing me out to to other hoes. So if you guys are new here, what pro what what products cause dermatitis? Um, any products? I'm well. Mainly is the gel, the gel products, but I'm sure the acrylic will cause it as well. So, if you guys are new here, don't forget to follow me. Hi, Cindy. Como estas? Don't forget to follow me. And if you guys are in the California area, in Riverside, don't forget to come and join us on our pop-up October 1st. I'm, I'm going to be talking about this every fucking day when I come live. Y'all going to be annoyed as fuck. Like, fuck this bitch is live again. She going to talk about that fucking pop-up. Because my sister and my brother said I'm fucking annoying already. Yeah, so uncured gel on the skin. So, you know, sometimes when you're painting a nail and you get it and then you go and you fucking take it off or we go like this. Low-key, I've been doing that for, for a long time. The good thing is that I don't really use a lot of gel. And so I'm thinking I'm, I may be getting it on this finger because it'd be dry as fuck, these two fingers. But I didn't learn about contact dermatitis until this year. Or last year, I can't remember. Amber the Whisperer was the one who kind of started um, giving us a little bit more knowledge. That's another reason to not use an airbrush because it will get on the skin. Yeah, actually, she was talking about um, the airbrush machines the other day. And she was saying how it's really, really bad, which is... I don't know why I didn't think of this, why we didn't think of it sooner, you know? Like, the if you mix gel with the acetone, the vapors and all of that, the fumes, they were, like, literally sniffing that shit. So, please do not put gel and um, acetone in your machine. Get the actual paints. Oh, no, your thumbs are just destroyed because of it no what are what were your symptoms um let's see what else what else what else what else did she say i don't remember oh yeah and don't be putting um gel in your monomer to create new colors because it doesn't ever get cured thank you zach so zach just pinned the Oh, wait, I thought you put the whole ass address. <laughs> yeah, the BBL is cool, huh? Only Mimi would be able to pull that one off. So Mimi was able to get um three doc two doctors to do a giveaway and a BBL for the pop-up. So if you guys come to the pop-up and you shop from my from my little booth, um Romance Bu Boutique, they're they're actually their store right there. We're gonna be popped up in front of their store location so you guys have to buy from all three of us something to get entered for a bbl bitch so even if you don't like us let's pretend you fucking hate me but you still want a bbl like you just in here because you nosy as fuck but you hate my guts and you think i'm annoying as shit and you don't want to support me because you a hater but you fucking broke as fuck and you want a BBL? I just kidding. <laughs> Bitch, I'm gonna fucking send my sister to buy from everybody. <laughs> I'm joking. You you don't have to buy anything crazy. You just buy one little thing from each of us and boom, bitch, enter to get a BBL. Shit, tell your husband, your cousin to come buy a fucking file. Even if it's a file, bitch. And a fucking little 
um what does the girl sell she sells little lip balms or little um flavored lubes por si por si how do you call it? um te da asco el pito si te das colpito y necesitas flavor así como candy venden eso allí sabías o si tu si tu vieja no se lavó las shishis no sé, la ve las chichis también saladas. También tienen candy para eso. What the fuck? What the fuck? Me regalaron uno. Dije, oh my God. They tingle. Tingle nipple. Nipple. Tinglers or some bullshit like that. Flavored lip. Lubes. The bus of gloss. <laughs> That's true, bitch. I never thought of that. And they'll be good. Like. <laughs> Así, saben a cebolla. No mames. Ese es el pinche sobaco, amiga. Pinche sabacón. Saben a saboy. <laughs> Dude, you know what would be so fucking cute? Just be mindful of what you're saying in the comments. We try. <laughs> hey, I didn't say disgusting. I just said, see, says they're salty, you know? Sometimes, you know, you'll be sweating as shishis are sweating. Numbing cream, yes or no? I don't know if they sell that, to be honest. Yeah. You know what would be super cute? I'm not going to do it to this set because I'm going to save it for another set. But like a full French tip of flowers in this color. <gasps> cute. Cuteness. All right, let's do the bling. I'm getting too excited here and I do not want to get in trouble. Yeah, the numbing cream para la garganta. For your throat, honey? Or where? For you won't be gagging? Like, <laughs> like hold on. Hold on. <sighs> All right, never tried it before. So I, I don't know. That's a new hoodie. So we're going to be doing some bling a ling a ling. Bling, 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 bling. I'm going to be doing the whole bling nail right here. Fuck that. Mejor, if you want to numb yourself, just put um, mm. Pone chile. Pone chile para que se le duerma ahí. We spicy tonight. He said, hi, say hi. Si su ley muy santita. Ay, si, ay, si. <laughs> no, I never tried it for real. Um, I don't know what's available on my website anymore as far as a crystal stock, but we do sell the, some of these crystals on the website. Like, I'm not going to come and tell you that all of them are available because maybe some of them are not, you know, some sell faster than others, but you guys can check out our, check out our highest quality crystal section. And that's where you would find these. Oh my God, I remember one time I cleaned it with a napkin and what? And didn't what? Hold on, hold on. Is that worth it? What? <laughs> what you guys say? I'm missing a bitch, Jen. Hold on, Jen. What did you say, girl? Girl, I'm about to stop. You know what? I'm going to need to bring some bleaching cream for our black holes <laughs> to the papa. Voy a traer, voy a traer los jabones blanca, blanqueadoras, blanqueadores, porque tenemos puro culo negro. <laughs> you know, the day of the, of the, um, Zule is my bitch. Hi, Red. No, I don't sell them, but I'm going to have to start. <laughs> you know, it's, so this is an inside joke, guys. It's because there's an acrylic that that's what it's called, um, a black hole. The acrylic that we have is called um, black hole. And we were doing the pop, the pop, what the fuck am I, I'm already thinking about the pop-up, bitch. We were doing a scoop party and we had that color in almost every scoop. And then we were like, damn, bitch.
bitch, I must have fucking black holes, but it was the acrylics, okay? The acrylics. No, 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 the cushion, no, no, the acrylics. But we all got them. <sighs> that night was fucking hit lit free kiss. So if you guys are having fun tonight watching this live and y'all not tapping the screen, el chucky les va a jalar las patas en la noche. Make sure to follow me if you new here. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. Um, this this length is the the five XL full well coffin. But if you were to compare it to a regular a regular nail tip, I would say a three XL. Um. Yeah, la lady Koto. Were you the one who got like three black holes in your scoop? That show was kind of funny, honey. Um, but yeah, we'll be back here again tomorrow. Hopefully, crossing our fingers. We'll be here hanging out, doing our nails. Oh yeah, make sure to follow me on Instagram because I'm gonna make a poll there yesterday. I mean yesterday. Fuck, bitch. I should have been making it since yesterday. I'm gonna make a poll tomorrow. Um, for my next set that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna so you guys could go vote. Can you get on after 10 p.m. EST? Why? What time is that? Is it more fun or what? Where are you going? What time is that? My time seven after seven. Oh, shit. Fuck. Ugh. Yes, yes. You guys are my night owls or what? You guys are night owls? It's like after hours with Zule, you play. I'm going to start drinking my coffee late, late, late then. Okay, everybody. Which shape should I put next? Should I put a pear? Yeah, I'm going to put a pear. Ooh, or a square. I haven't done a square in a long time. One of those. It's almost 1 a.m. No, ma'am, I'm barely awake. Oh, my God. The color that she does. Uh, thank you. I'm so sad. These are actually press on, so they're going to come right off. Where's sadness? Oh, I'm putting a shitload of glue. Because I'm going to put a big-ass diamond. So this big pair is not a Charoski. It is a Zule Cristal, honey. But look at how beautiful it is. Wow, 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 wow. The gold is so pretty. This is called Golden Shadow. It's un Golden Shadow. And I'm going to do a flame. The flame is becoming... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is becoming one of my favorite. Oh, it doesn't even fit. Real quick, bitch. Fuck it, thug life, huh? It's sticking out a little bit. <sighs> I love gold too. This one is sticking out just a little bit, but it's okay, honey. It's okay. No complaining. Yeah, this color just makes the nails so much more like classy. So I'm going to add some more crystals. I'm going to try to do a full bling nail, like a little more bling bling than like I'm putting the shapes is what makes it shine even more. These are the good good, um, but the shapes make the nail sparkle even more. Uzule, what is the glitter on the other hand? It's um pumpkin nights, pumpkin nights. Pumpkin Nights. Where do you get your crystals from? These, I bought them a long time ago. Like, I've been having crystals for years. So, I've been doing nails for about nine years already. And I've been collecting my Swarovski crystals for years. So, because I used to sell them, well, I still sell them on my website. Um, I collected them faster. So, you guys can find some of them on my store. Um, Swarovski stopped selling 
um, the crystals about, was it last year or the year before? But supposedly they said they're going to start selling them again. So let's pray. Are you in the IE? I live in the IE, but I do not work in the IE. I work in East LA. <clears throat> no, these press-ons are for me. Just for fun, for the content. Yeah, time be flying, so I don't even know when the fuck they stopped selling. But yeah, they stopped selling to us last year, I believe. And they said, I want to say it has already been almost two years. And they're gonna um they're gonna start selling them to us again. Why did they stop selling? I don't know the real truth, to be honest. I just heard rumors. Or maybe it's truth. I don't fucking know. That's damn, that's a crazy commute. Yes, it is very, very crazy. That's why I don't go all the time. Fuck that shit. I already came. Like, okay, so I haven't shared with you guys this because I don't want to be a chismosa, but we chismosas tonight. So last month, last month, how do you call it? Um, We were in a little car accident going to work and I was like, bitch, I do not want to fucking die going to do fucking nails. So I was like, bitch, como que ya no quiero ir. Ya no quiero ir a la verga porque no me quiero morir a la verga. And so I was like, girl, I need to get it together because this drive, like I have been driving out there for almost three years and never, nothing ever happened until recently. I was like, bitch, como que ya quedé pinche, um, what, what do you call it? Traumada la verga. Llevo todo el culo apretado when I go to work. It's like, it is not worth it. This is not worth my life. But luego when I'm on my way, when I get to work, it's definitely worth it because of the cheese right there. Like, da -da -da. yeah, so how do you call it? Um, that's why when people be like, you didn't do simple nails? Fuck no, I am not gonna fucking die to go do simple nails. Se te encogió el arrugado. <laughs> Sí, se me encogió la verga. Good. Thankfully, it was like nothing crazy, you know. Baby Jesus got us and shit. But um, like I ain't about to risk risk my life for some basic little nails. Fuck that. So if y'all want your nails, now you know. And plus, I'm fucking up my car driving every fucking twice a week, which is not nobody's fault. But how to call it? I was like, bitch. Bitch, my car already has almost 60,000 miles. One time, I almost fell asleep while driving. Oh, my God. Dude, that happens to me sometimes, too. Por eso siempre voy al Taco Bell. I go eat to Taco Bell or I go somewhere else to eat before I start driving because I be sleepy as fuck, too, I'm driving. But um, I chew, like, 20 gums to wake the fuck up. Yeah. Zule, I'm going to try to go see you in October. Yeah, bitch. Where are your stones from? You guys can find them on the link on the bio. Link on the bio, my friend. Yes, honey, come through. Are you coming for the BBL or for me? Are you going to come see me? Are you coming for the BBL? That shit is dangerous. I used to drive two hours to work for two years. Lady Coto, how? Okay, well, I understand how, you know, la necesidad, pues, you know? Pero fuck that. It's definitely fucking, excuse me, very exhausting. So, anybody <laughs> for both? It's okay, honey, but just make sure to come to me first. Come to me first. Okay, para no sentirme sad. Good night, Anna. I'm a nail fanatic. I'm too scared for the BBL. Uh, I know I'm scared too. If I wasn't such a fucking little bitch, I would have already been having a BBL. Like, I had been saving money for a BBL for a very, very long time. Y luego, I decided to fix my teeth. And I was like, fuck that BBL, bitch. Fuck the BBL. 
No, I do not sell the box. It would cost way too much money. Um, but it's my little collection. You guys can buy little, a little bit at a little bit, like crystals, little by little, and then grow your collection. You know? Just a little bit. Good night, Cindy Pin Pinche. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call you now, Cindy Pinche. Pinche. Cindy Pinche. Will you sell your acrylic wholesale? Your acrylics are dazzling. Yes, we do, Desmar. We do sell them um, in wholesale. Hold on. Let me spray this nail. I'm only going to spray this one. Just so that it could dry. Cindy Peach. Pinche. Mi amiga Pinche. Oh, I forgot about this one. All right, I'm going to do some bling on this one. Should I do a matte or shiny? Hi, Luigi. How are you? Which one should I do? Do you need to activate it in the order for the glue? No, you do not need it in order for it to work. It will work regardless. But I do recommend for you to... I do recommend for you to grab grab one. It does last a long time. Um, because when it starts to get colder or if you work over gel polish, um, the, the, the glue will dry slower. So it comes in handy to, to have an activator. Matte, you guys want me to do matte? I want to recreate this as presents. Yes, honey, do it, do it, do, do, do it. I don't know what the fuck to do to my thumb. I'm probably going to do the... Yeah, this one. Do a poll. All right. Well, actually, we haven't done a poll in a long time. Well, today. So, we're going to make a, a quick little poll. If you guys would like my middle finger to be matte, put a happy face. If you want it to be shiny, do a sad face. Okay? And this is where you guys um vote right here. Happy face, crying face. If you want it to be matte, it's happy face. If you want it to be shiny, it's sad face. All right, lock in your answer. Oh, man, it's a tie. It's a tie. Come on, guys. Matter shiny, matter shiny. Are you tied? No, you have to click the button at the bottom. It says vote now. You have to click it there, and it'll tell you. You can only... Um, vote once. Okay, Shiny is winning. Come on, Matt fans. If you guys want it to be Matt, you're going to do happy face. If you want it to be Shiny, you're going to do crime face. Come on, come on, come on. Lock it in, lock it in. Or don't complain later because you did not vote. Lock it in. Oh my God. Three, two, one. Shiny wins. Woo! Bah, 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 bah. Okay, honey. Uh, uh, honey. All right, shiny is the winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, I'm just trying to add some little diamonds. Oh fuck! What I fucked up, bitch. I should have um done. Now these are too small. Hmm. What, where do you buy your charms? I sell them, my friend. For those of you guys who are new in here, which most of you guys are because I've never seen your little faces before. Um, everything I'm using, you guys can find on my website. The link is on my bio. You guys can shop nail tips there. You can shop, I guess I'm just going to put two. You can sh shop acrylics. You can shop crystals. You can shop glue. I'm using the Zule bling adhesive, the only bling adhesive you need in your life, honey. There's a lot of imitations, okay? No, 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 no. If it don't have a big ass fucking Z and a Zule, do not get it, honey. Do not get it. It's not real. <laughs> I'm like, it's knockoff. It's a knockoff brand, okay? <sighs> Yeah, you can shop the the kitty flower. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. 
Zule bling and he said it's good. Yes, it is. It's very good and strong, honey. Very, very, very good. All right, so I'm going to add some bling. Should I add some bling to this one? Yeah, yeah. I will be ordering soon. I lost my grandma. Oh, I'm so sorry for your loss, Brenda. Um, How much do your rhinestone boxes go for? I don't sell rhinestone boxes. Um, You guys can buy the boxes and start filling them up little by little is what I would recommend. Um, I personally don't sell like Swarovski boxes because first of all, I don't have that many crystals to sell in boxes. Um, but I do know that Blue Streaks crystals actually does sell them. I, I'm not sure if they have this color exactly, but I have been tempted to buy some, even though I already have fucking way too many crystals. Um, I think they go for like 400, 400 cookies for a box of crystals. Yes, we do sell those. They're under the highest quality crystals. So the Charoskis, the good, good, the good, good is under the highest quality crystals. I'm not very good with my words, my friend, but I hope this life makes you feel better. Do you still sell the LV arm wrists? Yes. Actually, right now we're only taking pre-orders. They should be arriving soon. So if you want to wait for it, you can. Or if you want to order, um, pre-order it and wait, you can definitely do that as well. Hi, Yesenia. How are you? You have to apply to buy from them. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I haven't bought from them, so I, I don't know. I had just eyeballed them, but then I'm like, bitch, you have fucking a lot of crystals, bitch. You do not need to be buying any more. Usa lo que tienes. You know, my mom's voice came to my head. I was like, usa lo que tienes primera. FIFO. I'm like, okay, okay. Gorgeous. They send you a contract. What? A contract? For what? What kind of contract are you signing? Your life away? Do we email you about the bulk orders? Um, actually, hold on. Let me check. We should have it on the website. If you don't see it on the website, email me. Hold on. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Hey, my comments are moving too fast, bitch. They don't even scroll on their own no more. So I'm using the Zule Bling Adhesive. You guys can find this on the website. The link is on the bio. It's the best glue in the whole wide world. The best, the best, best glue in the whole wide world. Zule's glue is the best, best glue is the best, best glue in the whole wide world. It sticks your bleep. It sticks your teeth. It sticks everything. Okay, hold on. I've been okay. My dad has been very sick. Oh, no, girl. Hopefully, he gets better soon. Just taking care of him and trying to stay relevant. Oh, I don't like to hear the sad stories. But I hope everybody that's sick or having a bad day or whatever, I hope you guys have a better day tomorrow. I'm going to send a little prayer for you guys. ¿Cuál acrílico usaste? El rosa está precioso. Es el Bugambilia, amiga. Es nuevo. Se llama Bugambilia. Está disponible en la tiendita. El enlace está en el perfil. All right. What you guys asking? What you ask? Give me a way out of desperate. What? Give me a way? To give you a way? What do you mean? All right, I'm just trying to add a little bit of bling bling here in the corners, you know, like just a little touch because I don't want to um, hide all my my beautiful cheetah prints. So I'm just trying to add a little bit of bling. Just a little bit. A little bit of Monica in my life. I'm going to do remixes with all my with Zule bling bling in your life. 
They look it's so pretty. Karen, you have inspired my nails. Me quedé dormida. Lady Coto Como. What's the best top coat you've used, girl? Everything that I sell is my favorite. It's the best of the best, okay? So if you guys are new here and you never fucking heard of Zule, honey, you need to go to that link on the bio and go shop our products. I'm going to be using this in a little bit. And you will see how glossy it is. And I'm not just telling you guys that because I want you guys to buy my shit. It's the real deal, okay? Like, I love my products. I love them. I would never sell you guys something that I do not believe in. And, how to call it? Oh, shit. And that's why I always be using them so you guys can see the, the real results. Oh, shit. A chit, a chit. I'm about to make my own Zule bling box. Yes, honey. We do sell empty bling boxes as well. If you guys, um, yes, it is a no wipe. Although I heard it's still recommended to wipe it, to clean the no wipes with, um, um, ¿cómo se dice? To still pass the alcohol wipe. So that's what I was learning um, from, from Amber. Remember, we're talking about her, Amber the Whisperer. She's been teaching us all a lot about gels and stuff. Like, even though you think you know everything, you never stop learning. So she was saying that even the no wipe top coats still have to um, be wiped after like once it's cured and stuff because supposedly there's still like some some ¿cómo se llama? some chemicals that are on our little skin so i'm trying to make this one a little simple but not too simple but yeah you guys can definitely try all of our products you're gonna fall in love i promise you will be a zeho in no time you're going to be obsessed and shopping every week, but you're going to love everything, everything. Yeah, residue. That's what I meant to say. Matt should have won because look how that bling makes it pop, right? But wait till you see shiny, man. Shiny is just ugh, so beautiful. So beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. I'm singing to all of you guys, okay? I don't sing the best, but I'm going to sing to you and the nails at the same time. Like, you're beautiful. <laughs> you're like, ya me voy a la verga. Ya me dolió la oreja. I seen someone have product that made the crystals shinier. I was amazed. What? That is not true. I mean, unless the, the, the crystals were not the good kind, but... There's no such thing that's going to make them shine more. Unless you clean them, you know? It was probably like a filter or something. But right now, the crystals are shiny. Once I clean them, they're going to shine even more. So stay tuned. We're almost there. Do the tip mat. <laughs> Just, I swear I'll send you the video. Okay, I want to see that. Girl, because if I could make other shit shiny, I'm going to have to buy that. I love the shinier, the better. Thank you. <clears throat> yes. Where are you going to send it to me? On Instagram? On Instagram or here? Es ver para creer. Yeah, our top quote is fire, honey. It's so fire. You need to call the uh, firefighters. Like this girl is on fire. <laughs> Do you put top coat on the flowers too? No, 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 no. Never, ever, ever, ever put top coat on flowers, please. So the reason why you don't do that is because... <clears throat> I think I saved it on my Instagram. Okay, yeah, send it to me on Instagram. Because I don't really check my messages here on TikTok. There's too many apps for me to keep up. I don't really ever see anything you guys send me on TikTok. If you ever do, I'm sorry. It's not that I'm ignoring you. It's just that I just cannot keep up. I cannot. 
Damn, bitch. That's a lot of bling, bling. That's like an eggplant purple. No, it's actually brighter. I don't know if the camera is doing me justice or not, but it's like um magenta fuchsia. All right, I'm just going to put one more little crystal. And then we could do top coat. We came up extremely poor, so I never had the option for school. Oh, where do you, where are you, where'd you grow up at? Bugambilia. Uh huh. I love the color. So beautiful. Oh, you know what? This one needs bling, or should I just leave it like that? Should I add bling to this one, or just leave it like that? Why? Oh, I didn't tell you, huh? <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot. Um, so how to call it? The reason why you don't want to add top coat is because I mean, yeah, the reason why you don't put top coat on the bling, leave it. Okay. I mean, because then it's gonna look fake, like plastic. <clears throat> all right, let's spray it and forget it. Spray them all. Spray them. Forget it. Spray them. Forget it. So you don't want to add the top coat on the flowers because then they're going to look like plastic, like, like ugly. Like you bought them in La 99. Like you bought them, like there's nothing wrong with like La 99, like Walmart or whatever the fuck or the Shein. Pero pues, no manches. Like they look so much nicer matte. Let me just tell you that. Okay. We want the full 3D effect, yes. All right, guys, so I'm going to be showing you guys this late top coat. We're going to show you right now. Oh, my God, guys. Oh, shit. Hold on. And then sometimes when you guys clean with alcohol, it's going to turn a little fogginess. So just wipe it again, and it goes away. That just happens when it um evaporates slowly. So I finally gave in to Shein. And I bought some clothes from there. It's Facebook's fault. I had not bought from Shein before. And I finally gave in. We're gonna, I'm gonna have to do a whole little haul with that shit for YouTube. I bought some little chanclas, some little fucking earrings, bitch. Like, what the fuck? All right, so let's just put the. What you got, girl? I'm going to show you guys when it gets here. It's supposed to arrive sometime this week. Hopefully it fucking fits. Because if it don't fit, I'm going to about to fucking sell it online. I'm going to have to resell it to my house. <laughs> okay, guys. So here is the shiny top coat. Wow. Look at that honey. So shiny. So shiny. I buy a lot of clothes from them and I love them. Not bad quality for the price. Okay, good. I had never bought from them because I was like, you know what, girl? I don't even like to shop online like that. Yo me voy a la Walmart. I'm more of a person that likes to touch the stuff, you know? Love the colors. So beautiful. Thank you, honey. Thank you. But let's see how we do. Let's see how we do with this little Shein haul. I also... Well, I'm not even going to tell you guys what I bought. You guys are going to have to watch it on YouTube when I bring it. It's going to be a little Shein haul. Something different. Look at how beautiful that is, honey. Hoo, 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 hoo. Few, 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 few. Some things I've returned, but not much. Oh, I thought you couldn't return shit. Oh, oh, Zule just got fucking bling all over the crystal, bitch. That's what I f make that your YouTube live for the month, your haul. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not going to um make a live. I'm going to record it and then do that. Because I want to try on the stuff. And then I'll be there for years. Thank you. Love the packaging. Yay. I'm glad it arrived safely. Hi, honey. Hi. Yeah, but they can make it difficult. Mm. 
Well, just a little, uh, a little fun fact about Zule. She don't return shit anyway. Like, I have these fucking botas that I bought at Macy's last year. I bought them around the holidays. So if you guys are a nine and a half and you guys have a slimmer foot, well, obviously I have a fat ass foot. If you have a slim foot and you want these fucking boots, you can fucking pick them up at the salon. I'll give them to you for free because they do not fit me. They're a nine and a half. I think they're nine and a half. They're all black and they have like a bling strip on the side. Or come to the pop up and I'll give them, give them to you, honey. <sighs> I, I could show them to you guys on, on my haul. It's not going to be part of the haul, but... Or if you want to see them, I send you a picture because I'm never going to be able to wear them. Honey. My foot is just too fat. And that sadness, I was so sad. I'm like, I could squeeze it in. Nope. Nope, ma'am. Nope, ma'am. And they're so cute. They remind me of the Gucci boots. I don't know if you guys are into that, but... Gucci had a pair of boots. I don't even know what the fuck they're called, but one of my clients had them. And she I used to love I love those fucking boots. But I knew I could never. I could never wear those because my foot is fat. And they're kind of like slip-on vibes. Like they don't have a zipper. So it's hard for me to get shoes because I have a wide foot. Do you teach classes? Um, I don't really offer classes. Sometimes I do, but not very much. Um, normally my little classes are like my little lives here on Instagram. I mean, on on TikTok. So if you're new here and you just love nails and you want to learn, you're eager to learn more and more, I recommend you follow my YouTube channel, which is Zule's Nails, the same as this as TikTok. And you can find all kinds of nice tutorials on there. Free. Free for you, honey. Hi, um, Luigi. Yes, I do lives on Instagram, but not a lot. Yes, you can. They are good about that. Just have to return everything one time for free. Ah, okay. Products so I can get to reaching my goal going for a dream and get away from all the bad here. I've never had a problem sending things back. Refund quickly. Mm. Well, oh yeah, so I was saying I'm horrible at returning shit. So even if I would want to return it and I could, I just really never get around it. I forget. All right, who's ready to see this reveal? Hi, Bonita doll. I mean, Bonita Nighty. Please and thank you. Coco, and never seen notifications. Well, it's because I don't go that often. I go like once in a blue moon. I recently started to go, um, I, I mean, I recently started going live. All right, I'm going to do my thumbnail. So make sure that you, um, cure your gel real good and don't touch them. Give them like 20 seconds to cool down before you touch them so they don't get... Um, Matt, they had a good suggestion. Take the stuff to the pop up to sell. Oh, the the boots are what? Cuando haces uñas con la Mimi, apenitas vino hace la semana que pasó. Like the good old days, like when you started. I know. Well, the reason why I stopped going on Instagram was because they fucking sent me to Instagram jail, and so I had to go somewhere else, which is here. And low-key, I really, really like TikTok. We have made a family. We have a nice little family of Zihos. And um, I really like it here. Not that I don't have a nice family on Instagram. But I don't know. I just like it here better. I love you and Mimi. Oh, thank you, girlfriend. Yeah, so the lamp that I'm using right now, I it's... um. It's a sample. The one that I'm going for, I sampled it before this one. Um, I'm going to be bringing my lamp in the next month. So if you guys come to my pop-up, you guys will be the first ones to be able to buy the lamp. I'm going to have it at my pop-up first. I don't have a price just yet. I have to work on that, actually. Just in case you're going to ask. 
Yeah, so I got um reported for stupid shit. Like it was not even real. Well, kind of, but so once one of the times I got in trouble because I posted some nails that were nude and then I put send me nudes, right? Like as a caption, like nude pictures of the nails, like nude nails. And they reported it that it was like nudity and I don't know what. And I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck? If I would have known that, I would have never posted that in the caption. It was just dumb, dumb shit. Like, I do not want to go to jail. Just warn me at first. All right, guys. So after I have put the cuticle oil and rubbed it on, I'm going to clean my little bling bling just with a little napkin. There's nothing on it. It's just a napkin. I use the Charoskis. Yeah, for dumb shit like that. That's when I went to, to Instagram jail for a whole ass month. And then I suppose, well, I did flash my TikTok like a little bit, not really, where they could see anything. And I got reported and I'm like, oh my God, I cannot have fun no more. Just throw me away at this point. Like, what's the point of going live? I'm going to just keep going to jail. All right. So all we're doing is buffing these little nail. Yeah. Well, it started out with a week and then it was two weeks and then a whole ass month. And then I went, I got sent to solitude or solid, whatever the fuck is called. Phew, phew, <laughs> Hi. It was, yes, in 2021. All right, guys. All right. Let's pick some rings. So this is my little stash of rings. Most of these. So let me show you guys my little rings. Most of these here in this section, I bought them at TJ Maxx about a month ago. Just in case, um, solitary and the lady. Just in case y'all gonna ask. All of these are from TJ Maxx, this little section. Except this heart one, I bought it from Yia Accessories. And then these big old Buchona rings, you guys can find them on my website. I'm actually gonna be restocking this one. I should probably put this one, Buchona Vibes. This big one, I don't think I have it on the website right now. But we have all these other ones on the website as well. If you guys like just for photos, they look so beautiful. You want to lie to somebody that your man gave you a fucking big ass ring, bitch. You sure can because how would they know? Look at it. I'm also going to bring them to to my pop-up. I have new rings coming to the, to the pop-up, bitch. If you guys are into fantasy jewelry or whatever... You guys can definitely wear them. They definitely make a break. Should I do one of the big ones? Too much? Too much or not too much? Let me put the smaller one. La Guadalupana. La Guadalupana. Alrighty. Let's start picking some rings for real. Stop playing around today. What is a pop-up? It's, I don't know what it stands for, but it's just like you pop up in a random place that's not really your, your location. So, um, like I normally don't have a physical store. Well, I don't have a physical store for my products. So normally I get invited to a location and I pop up right there for that day. Like a little, a little special events. The tiny diamond heart is so cute, huh? That one, this one, the little heart is from Yia Accessories. You guys can find her here and on Instagram. Maybe not this one. It's too, bl too big and blingy. Ooh, you know what? Let me use this little butterfly. Um, the, for the pop-up, it's going to be in Riverside, California. Follow my Instagram. If you guys want... Uh, more information on the pop-up, follow me on Instagram. It's on my stories right now. Maybe that's enough. Huh? I should have put another button play. Another button play? Too many options. I don't know what to pick, bitch. I love dainty rings. Well, hopefully you like what I'm bringing to the store. No, that's enough. Maybe one on the pinky. No, 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 no cabe, man. I need to buy little fucking rings. Ooh, this one is cute, too. 
Oh, this one, bitch. This one kind of matches. I'll put on this one, too. I have fat-ass fingers. So, normally, the rings don't fit all the way up here, which is perfect because I don't want them to go all the way up there. I just want mid-rings. So, if you guys have fat fingers like Zule does, I'm like a size 30 and shit. Nah, just kidding. But I do have a big, thick finger. I think I'm a size 11. I know, I know, you wish I was your vato, you know, pero no, wait, no, no se puede, no se puede. Let me take a couple pictures and then I'm going to pop one off right now so you guys can see how I did. All right, hold on. So little photo sesh. <sighs> um, you guys don't necessarily have to wear them all the way, like nobody does that anymore. Just wear them halfway. Like, can you meet me halfway? I have every fucking song in my brain, always. Wow, honey. Dame the Gucci, Gucci, mommy, dame the Gucci, Gucci. All right, hold on. Let me move my lighting over here because it's a little dark. Hold on. I'll show you guys my footage in a second. Hold on, guys. Hold on. So normally, um, I come to my wall over here. Wow. I'm going to show you guys. Oh, damn, that one's crusty. I think this color would look good in a jean jacket, huh? Let me put it on. Hold on. Oh, yes, Becky. Yes. I love the jean jacket look. I know Zach don't like it, but I do. I do. Taking good pictures is... Is, um... It's a must, okay? When you guys want to get a lot of likes, a lot of views, take good pictures. Hold on. Let me take that little piece of fucking something. A little piece of something right here. Oh. Hold on. There's a little... Oh, que la verga. I think the little tab is sticking out. Who wants to see me take them off right now? Can't take it off. All right, so the extra props do really make the pop, right? I'm telling you, if you guys struggle with your pictures or whatever, just add a little ring, accessorize a little bit, and um, put a sweater, a jacket, or something. Try different and see see the difference. And then it's like a whole photo shoot, bitch. Like, literal. Okay, hold on. Relax, client. Relax, your hand. All right, so I normally go like this. And then I relax the hand a little bit. The rings, I buy them from different places. I So I bought... Hold on. Let me record this real quick. So I bought from Yeah Accessories, which is here on, on TikTok. I bought these from I think I think I bought this one too from her. I don't remember, but I'm sure I did. So these three on my ring finger are from Yeah Accessories. She's in here. Oh look, she's right here. I bought them from her. This one I bought it from Till no not Tilly's Paxson or one of those fucking stores. And then this one I bought it from um TJ Maxx the other day. So I buy rings from different places, but you guys can definitely check her out. She has amazing little um bracelets, rings, and she is a small business. So I always like to support small businesses. Um, so yeah, you guys can check her out. She's right here, right here. So yeah, accessory comment below. All right, hold on, guys. Photo shoot, photo shoot. All right. I take like a million pictures and videos. Sorry. 
Gotta get a good one. Gotta get, get, boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Una noche más, y copas de más. Tú no me dejas en paz, de mi mente no te...